Hi everybody, Russ from the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new and here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a bloody good subscribe. Now we know uh, by various reports that Mr. Moyes is a bit strapped for cash. I've still got my West Ham, my Amazon 11 thing. He's a bit strapped for cash, uh, it seems, in January. Um, now... He's badly in need of funds, in my opinion. Uh, he's desperate. Um, obviously, you know, Europa Conference League, six was out of six. Fantastic, fantastic. But we're just marginally, marginally, a smidgen um, above the drop zone in the Premier League. And with the, it, we, we desperately need something. We desperately need uh, a boost, I think, as well as obviously the returning World Cup stars as well. Um, and so, you know, by all accounts... We're not going to be bereft of money. Bere no, we're going to be bereft of money. Yeah, we're going to be bereft of money going into the January transfer window. So we need to look out. We need to look within Look within ourselves, look within our squad uh, who we can get rid of. So maybe some more of a fire sale, um, to be honest, um, at, in West Ham for January. Um, now, l luckily, if we can say luckily, there's a number of senior hammers who are set to see their contract expire at the end of the season, um, which could give us a list of players who we can get rid of on the cheap, maybe. Um, and as well as that, there'll be some loans, there'll be some outs. There's going to be, I think, a, a, lot, of, a lot of moving moving parts in January. So that's why I've compiled a list of 10 players that I can see leave West Ham for January. Um, and so what I thought we'd do is, is go through them, is go through them. So as I said, 10 most likely exits in January. Number 10, Craig Dawson. Now we know Dawson, uh, Ballon Dawson, he's a man that is wanting to leave. Back in the summer, he was due to leave, um, with Wolves being the preferred um, target. However, with the new manager, now taking charge, maybe Wolves might not be the destination for him. Injuries to Kurt Zuma and his knee injury. Um, we've got the issue with Nea Fagerd and his World Cup injury. May mean that potentially... Oh, don't mean to press it. May mean that potentially um, it might not happen just yet. However, saying that, you know, the likes of Louis Zhao, who's, who's all but signed, may well mean that Mr. Dawson could get his move out of West Ham and go back up north to his family. Number nine, Harrison Ashby on a permanent deal. We know Harrison, um, the, the trials and tribulations. I don't get it. I don't get it with Harrison Ashby. I don't get why we're letting him leave. By all accounts, again, another one who was due to leave in the summer with Newcastle being the preferred uh, target. It looks like that's happening. It's going to happen. Um, and there'll be uh, compensation for that. Uh, I, I think it's a couple of million, I think it is. But we'll wait and see what happens with Harrison Ashby. Number eight, Connor Coventry. Loan deal question mark. Now, Connor has, has had... Um, He's had a, a rough time of it this time at West Ham. Um, he's been out on loan. He seems to be out on loan a lot. Um, last year he was out on loan and came at Peterborough, came back, was recalled, and went back out to the MK Dons um, and was very successful. He was inaugural. Inaugural? No, he was integral um, for their third place finish. I think he played 22 games. I think he scored his first senior goal as well. Came back made some appearances uh, for us in the Europa Conference Leagues um, and and in the uh, the Carabao Cup as well. It's not worked out for Connor. Um, his contract runs out, I believe, I believe it's next year, I want to say. So it could be a loan deal. It could be a permanent deal maybe as well. So tell like Connor's commentary's uh, contract runs out at the end of this summer uh, or the summer 2023 so maybe a, a permanant deal to mk dons they they were hunt they were interested in them um so maybe a, a trip back to the mk dons might be on the cards for connor whether it's going to be on a permanent deal or whether it's going to be uh on a loan deal maybe and uh but then a loan deal for the end of the season and then he let me get rid of him on a free transfer. Doesn't seem like good business to me. Number seven, Vladimir Sufal on a permanent deal. Um, Vlad has been a, a shadow of himself since um, returning back from injury this season. He, he hasn't, 
he hasn't been at the races at all. And um, despite that fact, he has been linked with a move to Bayer Leverkusen, um, the 30-year-old. And by all accounts, Bayer Leverkusen are looking to se sell players to fund that transfer. Um, I think... I think he's. I think Vlad's time's up um, at West Ham, to be honest. Um, and us looking at the likes of um, the likes of Wan Bissaka, amongst others, might suggest to me that it's it's time to move on for Vlad. It's time to move on. Bless him. Right, let's go to number six, Manuel Lanzini. Now, Manu has been uh, a, a stalwart for West Ham. He's scored. Some important goals. He's played a lot of games for us. However, another one whose contract is due to end his current deal at the end of the season. Um, there was talks of him leaving last year to go back to to uh, to Argentina potentially. Um, obviously, he has a young family now, um, and realistically, if he's, I mean, he's, as I said, his contract runs out at the end of this year. Um, so it could be time to move Manu on. Sporadically used um, more just for the conference side, but now we're getting to the knockout stages. Potentially, um, it might mean that the more of the starting eleven are used. Um, so maybe Manu's chances of playing football, first team football at West Ham, aren't as great as they were. Number five, Angelo Bonner. Surprising with Angelo Bonner. Obviously, he's he had a massive injury. Um, West Ham were. Um, not gracious is the, is the wrong word, but they were obviously his contract ran out last summer. But because he was injured, they they gave him another year contract. So again, his contract runs out at the end of this summer. However, despite the fact, um, a, and again used very sparingly in the, um, well not sparingly, but used primarily just for the cup competitions this season. Um, he has still shown he's he's got you know. He's got the older kahunas. Um, a trip back to Italy may be on the cards. Uh, Lecce are, are looking at him, as well as the Serie B side. Uh, Forziano Calcio are both looking at him potentially for a January, um, a January transfer. However, again, with the issues of, of Zuma and Aguerd and, uh, and the question marks around Craig Dawson leaving, I can't see him leave. I can't see Ogbonna going. It'd be one of... It'd be him or it'll be Dawson. But both are on the list. Number four, Darren Randolph. Now, Dazza is also a player who uh, contract runs out at the end of this uh, season. Um, famously, he we stopped, we blocked a move for him previously, um, going to Leeds or Aston Villa, I believe. Um, now, with his contract coming to an end, would uh, a championship side... Um, come in for him. Um, he's a good goalkeeper. Uh, he's, he's played absolutely bugger all football this summer, this year rather, for West Ham. So possibly Randolph might be moving on. The emergence of Heggy, Christian, uh, Christian Heggy, uh, he's been playing very well for the under-23s. So we've got ready-made replacement. We've also got Nathan Trott out on loan uh, and Joseph Anang, who's, who's injured at the moment. But, you know, there's there's enough to cover that third place Um Birth and actually, it means you might not have to put two goalkeepers on the on the bench once. Number three, Freddie Potts on loan. Uh, for anyone who watched the um, Cambridge game, Freddie Potts was outstanding in his second half. He was by far the best player there. And uh, for his own progression, uh, I think a loan move might be useful for him. Obviously, he's only playing under twenty threes at the moment. He's not. I he's, can't see him breaking into the first team this season. So. A low move may be useful uh, for him to gain some um, some much needed first team um, first team experience. Number two, Jamal Baptiste. What has happened to Jamal Baptiste? Where the hell has he gone? Again, um, a man with so a kid with so much promise, um, and one we're looking to. I mean, you know, an England international. Um, I think again, a low move for Jamal might maybe on the cards. So he's not getting. Uh, he's he's not featuring um, for the for the under twenty threes and stuff as much, and so just for his own development, a low move might be useful. Same as. Uh, 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 Romy Coddington as well is the same thing. Uh, I think he's he's on the being on the bench for the under twenty threes, and I think again he might he might benefit from a, a move uh, on loan. 
uh, number one, uh, Divine. Um, uh, I mean, with Divine, he's obviously he's. It's been not a breakout season for him, but obviously he's made his first team debut. He's scored, although, you know, UEFA might not say it's a goal, but it was a goal. It was his goal, and I still say it. And again, he's been, when we when we had Kevin Keane, spoke to Kevin Keane about, you know, who's coming through. Divine was one of those guys. Divine was one of the names he picked out. And he's been in sparkling form for the under-23s. He's been in sparkling form for the under-18s. But we know... Moyes is not going to frame him. So again, a low move may be useful for him. Um, and it may be a way to get some first team football. You know, you can be a fantastic under 23 player, a fantastic under 18 player, but you're playing with your peers. You're playing with your same age group. You're not going to big boy football. Do you know what I mean? You're not playing with hardened veterans who know how to be snarly and, and the little digs in the back and the little, you know, that's what you learn going going on loan. I think with Divine, he needs to go on loan to toughen him up, get him ready for first team football, and then maybe next year could be his breakout year for us. Particularly with a- Antonio on the way, and he's was it thirty two, thirty three now. He's not, you know, he may have one season left if his hamstrings stay. We need, we're going to need Divine particularly next year. I'd suggest. And that's it. Have we forgot anyone else? No doubt we have forgotten anyone else. If we have, let us in the let us know in the comments. Who do you think? Give us your top three. Who's your three players you're going to see out the door in January? And they'll be interesting to see if we can compare and contrast. As always, I'd like to thank every one of you. I uh, hope you have a lovely uh, Christmas and festive time. Um, I'm sunning myself in Orlando as we speak, um, and this is a pre-record. <laughs> Anyway, take care and stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. I'd like to thank all of our channel members and all our channel sponsors. Bye, you bye.